Let's get to the, the main agenda of, of the summer and definitely of this show, transfers. Um, the window's only been open a few a few days. There have been some signings made and your club, Liverpool, which we'll get into a bit more depth a bit later in the show, have made one of those signings. Um, the, the two biggies that seem to be on most people's mind at the moment, or in, in the news anyway, are Declan Rice and uh, Mason Mount. Let's focus on Declan Rice because... A, I think it will be more than... It'll be, it'll be a £100 million transfer wherever he goes, be it Arsenal or Manchester City. But also because, you know, I, I've, I've been shot down by lots of people and, and, and Sam and Perry in the last show, um, you know, were, were disagreeing with, with, with my opinion that I, I think he's a very good player. I like Declan Rice. I think he's got lots of skill set. I think skill set, I think he's proven by winning a trophy, a European trophy that shouldn't be disrespected, that he's a man that can take a team to another level. My only uh, issue is with this transfer, and I'm, and I'm an Arsenal fan for those who don't know, is value for money. And a lot, a lot of people will say, oh, you can't get value for money. That's, quite, that's not a thing anymore. I still think it is. And I think if you're buying a midfielder, I'd love to get your thoughts, Jermaine. If you're buying a midfielder for £100 million, I need to either be getting a player that's been there, done it, won the lot. So proven winner, no, no issue there at all. Or B, a player that the club are very confident that in two years' time will be a top five midfielder in the world. So you're buying potential then. <clears throat> One of those two things has to be the rationale behind buying a £100 million player. Am I being harsh or do, or do you think actually he's not quite in that bracket yet? I think you're being harsh, mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. because he has proven his worth at a struggling West Ham team. And he does it Every time he plays for England, puts on that shirt, puts in great um, displays. And that position, now you've come to see, is so important mm -hmm. in top teams. If you look at the teams when, when Fernandinho was there for, mm -hmm. for Man City, how, how much of importance he was to that team. Fabinho, mm -hmm. when he was, you know, when he was Son Song and playing yep. really good at Liverpool, he was instrumental from probably them to winning the league because it, it gives that e extra ins insurance. Um, in defence as well. So Declan's probably one of the best at that position. He's, and he can do more. He's yes, not, he's not yeah, just a yeah, holder. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just giving you them those yeah, little stats sure, there. So yeah. he breaks down plays amazingly. He gets back. He's always there breaking down the plays and putting in the last ditch tackles. He's probably one of the best in the league at doing that. Mm -hmm. He's very athletic and he also can go forward with the ball. His passing range is, is great. He's, he's got pace to, to burst through. So if you're looking at all those attributes and in this day and age of what you see in play if, if you're talking about Kai Abbott's going for, to Arsenal for 65 million uh, you know 100 million for, for Declan Rice is, is probably fair I think that's fair comment I, I think I agree with your initial analysis of what he of, has to offer I think off the board positioning is really good athletically I think he is a, he's a, he's a specimen and he can get around the pitch quite comfortably for 90 minutes defensively he seems to be switched on to where the danger is mm. no issue there at all where I disagree, and I, I very rarely agree with Graham Souness, who was on, our, on on TalkSport, I think, this week, is when he said, with the ball at his feet, I think if you're, and you've, you've been a pro, a professional footballer, Jermaine, I still believe that if you are going to go for that kind of money and you're going to be a midfielder, I mean, any player, but definitely a central midfielder, I need to know with the ball at your feet, you can either beat a man, you could spot a pass no one else can spot, or you've got a goal in you. And I'm not convinced he's he's in the top bracket of any of those three, ticks any of those three boxes. Yeah, if you're saying centre midfielder, because you look at centre midfielder, you're thinking De Bruyne. But when you go DM, central defensive midfielder, you're not really looking for goals. You're not really looking for a man, for your central de defensive midfielder to be skipping past two or three players. You want him to hold steady, you want him to break down play, and you want him to be able to get the... Um, you know, the counter-attack and attack started by sometimes coming forward and, and, and a good vision, which is, in my personal opinion, I think he's got all of that. He's got that, OK. Well, we'll be speaking to um, a West Ham fan um, later in the show who's going to try and convince me and tell me that why £100 million is a good fee um, for, for Declan Rice because, like I say, I want to be very clear, and I'll, I'll, I'll be super clear, if I didn't rate Declan Rice, I'd have no compunction in saying, I don't rate Declan I think he's a brilliant player. I'm just not sure he's in that top bracket.